Welcome back. So this video is going to cover roles, which are a slightly more advanced topic, but in the real world, uh, you would generally find that you'll be working more with roles than you would be with simple playbooks. So it is uh, effectively a standard approach. Uh, roles, if you're unfamiliar, are a way of automatically loading uh, certain variable files, tasks, and handlers into a known file structure that Ansible would be expecting. And grouping content by roles means that uh, we can easily share those roles with other users and also with the community. And we'll talk a little bit about that momentarily. Ansible Galaxy uh, can help us actually build role uh, directory and file structures pretty quickly. And we'll see that in action here in a moment. And it is generally the, the main place that the community actually shares roles with each other today. So, you know, the conceptually, the, the four main concepts that we want to get across in this video and that we try to cover in the workshop, the idea of code reuse, so not constantly having to reinvent wheels, uh, working with roles, understanding the basic role directory structure, and understanding Ansible Galaxy, as we just mentioned. So the, the first role in what we're really doing here is we're decomposing the original site.yaml file that we created previously. And so if you've been following along, you should be able to just continue here. Uh, and in this case, we're going to go ahead and uh, copy uh, some previous templates that we worked with just to make it a little bit easier to work with them in this module. And we will go ahead and make a directory uh, called roles. We'll CD into that. And then we'll run the Ansible Galaxy command. So this is, you know, once again, a, uh, it's a helper basically to initialize a, a new role called Apache Simple that we're creating here. So the Ansible Galaxy program, the subcommand init, and Apache Symbol. So let's go ahead and CD into that. We'll remove a couple of directories that we don't need for the purposes of this workshop. We'll go ahead and run the tree command to give us a sense of the overall structure that we've created here for ourselves. So this is what we're working with. Um, you have several uh, directories and you helpfully creates the initial YAML files that we'll be working with. Now we're going to update these um, pretty quickly in the course of our uh, workshop, but uh, in any event, we'll um, start stepping through some of this and stepping through some of the code. So in the first place, we're going to call, uh, create a, a new uh, file called um, site.yaml. And here uh, we'll actually be going through sort of line by line. I am going to go quickly, a little bit more quickly through these than I have um, previously, just in the sense of, oh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my place. Um, just in the, the interest of time, I will be kind of going through this unless we're introducing a new concept uh, in general. I would hope that you can kind of work at your own pace if you're actually following along live. So in this case, we're actually calling out to a role. So this is a, a relatively new concept here. So I will actually step through this uh, one piece. So Ansible understands roles and uh, can take a list similar to the way that it took the uh, Apache modules list previously, and, and it can actually execute those roles in the order that it finds them. So that's helpful. So we've created the site YAML file, um, and we're going to go in and actually uh, modify um, these, um, these main files that we are, have been given here. And so I'm just initially deleting them. Um, and taking defaults was, was the first. And so basically taking these here. And so again, we're decomposing. So we have things like the variables that, uh, that have been set up here. These are effectively the defaults that, that we're creating. Uh, most of the code itself is not going to look really new to us at this point because we've been uh, doing similar things, but now we're, we're again decomposing. We're starting to make this a little bit more modular, meaning that it would be easier to make changes to specific things without having to go and, and hunt for every possible change that we might have uh, made here. So the next is the handlers. And so we can go ahead and copy this out. Once again, we've seen handlers previously. We've made, uh, made this change here. So now we have defaults and we have handlers and we should be able to take the next one tasks and go down here just to grab the line so that we're not 
typing too much, creating our tasks, filling the lines that were already in there that we don't need. This one, uh, if we really step through it, it looks very similar to the last video and the playbook tasks. This is really where most of the, the actual work happens uh, when we're working with this, but really no changes in terms of the approach that we're taking to install uh, Apache and uh, get it running with some custom settings that we want. Um, next is we'll go into the, the, the main variables that we're working with. Right, and that reintroduces, uh, brings us back to the discussion point that we had earlier on those HTTP packages. So we have a couple of different places that we can put variables like that, um, but depending on you know what, what we're working with there. So now we've basically created that structure. Uh, we've updated these commands. And so the next thing that we can do is we can take the, the same old Apache playbook command that we've been working with, and we can actually uh, target that using the, the inventory um, that we've been using and just uh, taking that site, the YAML file is sort of the entry point into doing the work that we need to do. And so once again, this is a role-based playbook. We are, we're doing generally the same work, but now we're putting ourselves in a position where if we needed to make a change to a particular variable, we're not hunting through any other tasks to figure out what might have uh, gone wrong if something doesn't quite work for us. In this case, it, it did work. Um, and so we'll go ahead and curl that out. And so we see, you know, for instance, that this basic message that we've added here, this is uh, this is updated now for just the roles model and working with that. Um, and so, you know, once again, to kind of recap on this, uh, roles are the main way that we will probably share uh, our Ansible playbooks uh, going forward in our organization. And they allow a, a substantial amount of code reuse to occur where we can build roles on top of each other and provide uh, effectively, like in a lot of cases, uh, more of a core versus a self-service uh, approach where we can build on stack that developers can generally benefit from the way that we're defining, let's say the OS environment that we wanna run uh, systems uh, on and letting them put you know, things like Apache on top of it where they're, they're generally working with that code and they're, they're even updating it for you know, specific app use cases and you can just continue to kind of stack these things on top of each other. Uh, and uh, it's not difficult to start using roles. We can just work with the Ansible Galaxy command as we demonstrated here uh, to get started and then um, just work on making things better from there. 